Next poet. Y'all already know, put your hands together for my man, Mellow J. <laughs> we are Shot City. We are Shot City. Woo! How y'all doing this afternoon? Yes. Yes. Glad to see everybody made it out. Uh, I love doing charity events. A lot of people don't know that, but I've been doing it for a long time. I always believe that if you have enough, or more than enough, yeah. reach back. Mm -hmm. Get your other hand out. Or <clears throat> somebody pour it into your cup. Right. And you take that same cup you got and you pour some of yours into their cup. That's how we keep that link going around. You know, each of us here is an artist. We do poetry, but each of you guys who don't do poetry, <clears throat> you good is something. God gave you a gift. It might not have come to you yet, but believe it or not, it's in you. That's right. So keep your head up and just wait if you haven't found that direction yet. You see, God is the one that we have to live for. This story here is a true story about a young man that I once knew. He was cool. He was in school. He, he wasn't no fool. He was even blessed by God to have a nice high IQ, but <clears throat> he didn't know what to do. He started hanging around with the wrong crew, and as a result, his mind was twisted. The good life, he missed it. His style of living was all about backstabbing and conniving and jabbing and there was no room in his world for reaching out for love, compassion, or forgiving. His perception of reality, along with his low self-esteem and his tripped out mentality led me to believe that I would be reading about this young man soon. Most likely in Chicago sometimes or possibly in the Daily Tribune. A casualty, a fatality, a statistic, another brother gone ballistic, far from that urban mystic you see he had no understanding and what seemed to be so simple for me and you to deal with and comprehend for him was so demanding, forced he was not. The decisions that he made on the daily, they were all bad, ignored were all the beautiful things that surrounded this young man that he didn't even recognize that he had. He chose bad over good. It didn't make no sense. He wasn't raised in the hood. His mother surrounded him with love and affection, gave him protection. And when he grew to become a young man, she pointed him in the right direction, but his response was only foolishness and rejection. So now, he's basically been ostracized by most all his family and friends, and there's nothing I can do, but each night, each night I get down on my hands and knees, and I throw my hands up to God, and somehow, somehow, y'all, it'll all come down 